Hi everybody. Today we're going to show you how to manipulate shapes in a loop. So first thing we're going to do is create a couple simple bitmap shapes. So bitmaps, convert to bitmap, that's fine. Make this one a bitmap too. Now we're going to work with these shapes here. Say we had a bunch of bitmaps, we can run a macro and easily manipulate all of them with the click of a button. So we'll go to Visual Basic, and then our editor, or we can just click Alt F11, which I like to do. Open up our editor. We can add this to our same GDG module. We'll place a new sub. Remember, if it's a private sub, it will not show up in your Tools Options Customization area. So we're going to put a sub, and then resample all. We gave it a name that we like. So we have to declare our variables and objects. So we'll dim S as shape, SR as shape range. We'll do P as, and then I just hit P, A, and it shows page. I hit tab. That way I don't have to type the whole thing. Okay. Now we're going to find our shapes. Or actually we can put our first loop for the page first. So for these are going to be for each loops. Very simple. For each P in Control J to bring up the context menu. So we'll go Active Document Tab dot Pages. For each P in Active Document dot Pages, and then we'll just finish the loop here next P. And basically, that's going to loop through all the pages. For each P in Active Document Pages. I'll hit a tab there, and on that page we want a P dot Notice how I just hit P dot and it brings up the, the this is all the methods and properties that I can do to the P, which is a page, because we declared P as a page. P is an object, P is the page. So we're going to go P dot activate. We activate that page. You can do this in a in another type of loop without activating the page, but I prefer to activate the page because it works every time. I found the other methods some certain methods don't work when you don't activate the page. So now we're on an active page and we're gonna set our SR. With objects you always have to set them. So we're gonna set SR equal control J again active document dot shapes. Oh, we're gonna go active we're on the page now. Wake up active page dot shapes dot find shapes and then we're going to go put a comma and this is going to be we're going to go bitmap shape and we'll take a look at what we just did right there we're setting the shape range to uh, a shape range is like a collection of shapes to be all the shapes on the page and you notice we skipped the first parameter here see these bra square brackets that means it's optional it looks like all of them are optional. So we're skipping it, but we have to put a comma so it knows that we're using the second one, the second uh, parameter. So it's going to be type. And the type we're looking for is a CDR bitmap shape. So set SR active page, our active page. So each time we loop through the P active dot pages, we're going to reset SR. It's going to be a different shape range each time the page gets activated because we're setting it. To active page shapes, find shapes, bitmap shapes. What does that mean? SR is going to be only bitmap shapes that it finds on the page that's activated. So now we're going to put another loop inside that. So for each S in SR, our SR is set. We're going to put another loop to go through that. Next, S, finish the loop just like we finished here with the page. Now we can work with that shape. So we'll go S dot, and these are all the methods and properties we can do to that shape while we're looping through. So let's try, since it's a bitmap, let's do resample. Oh, we got to go, because that's in our bitmap properties. So we'll go bitmap dot resample. So resample is a method that works on S dot bitmap shapes. So resample, and you notice here, here we go again, optional, optional optional because it's in square brackets. 
So we're not going to do the first two. We're not going to do height. We're not going to do analyze. We're going to change the resolution to 200 and the resolution Y to 200. And that's it. So we move this out of the way. And you could hit play here to run it. Or we can hit uh, F8 to step into. Sometimes I'll just hit play. Sometimes I'll hit F8. Let's save it first. So we hit save. And we'll hit F8. And F8 will just slowly go through. And you'll see. Okay, it's activating the page. We only have one page, so there's not much happening there. Okay, we're working on our first shape. If we open up our uh, locals window, which is down here, you can see SR count. SR has two shapes in it. These are all the, the locals window is great. It tells you all the properties for everything you're doing. It tells you all the properties about page, the current S that is on, and the shape range count. So we'll bring that back down and we'll just continue. It just resampled one. Now we're going back up through our second shape and it just resampled that. Continue to hit 8. Done. We just looped through two shapes. If we had more shapes, more pages, it would have looped through all of them. We looped through two uh, shapes and it resampled each one to 200 by 200 for the resolution. And that was a very simple loop in a loop. We got our for each P and active document pages. We activated the page. On each page that was active, we set the shape range. And then we looped through that shape range, looking through the bitmaps, and resampled each bitmap.